Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Erwin, Rachel's very proud dad. On behalf of the newlyweds, Luke's parents, Audrey and Clive and Mardi, I'm delighted to welcome you here today to be part of Rachel and Luke's wedding celebrations and to enjoy this day with them. Um, although I've lived in Kent most of my life, I'm actually from Wales. <laughs> and, I, and I'm gonna teach you a Welsh word. Nice and easy, just two words, and it's shoe, as in the shoe fairy's been to our house again, <laughs> and my, my wonderful wife. So you put the two together, and it's Shumai. 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 Good. It's been a pleasure to watch Rachel grow up into the smart, beautiful woman she is today. She does, however, have her moments. <laughs> I remember a trip to Disney in the 90s. Rachel had been cajoled onto most rides, although she wasn't a huge fan of heights. But she wasn't at all keen about the idea of Space Mountain. So when it came to, our uh, to take our turns after a 90 minute wait, she promptly walked straight through and followed those leaving their seats towards the exit. <laughs> Luke is everything I wanted in a son-in-law. He likes sport and he doesn't drink all my booze. <laughs> But more importantly, he is a caring and hardworking. Two years of wedding planning began, resulting in many spreadsheets and lists. And now they are married, and a fantastic day is going to be had by all. My list for today is done, and I'd like to offer them a few words, wise words, be considered to each other, and enjoy your lives together. So please stand with me and we'll drink a toast to Rachel's good health, Rachel and Luke's good health and long-lived happiness. I, Luke Jason Brackenbury. I, Luke Jason Brackenbury. Take the Rachel Helen Evans. Take the Rachel Helen Evans. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. And Rachel, these words to <laughs> I, Rachel Helen Evans. I, Rachel Helen Evans. Take the Luke Jason Brackenbury. Take the Luke Jason Brackenbury. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. First of all, I must say a big thank you to Erwin for his kind words. They were truly appreciated. In all honesty though, I never thought I would see the day when a Welshman would be so polite and complimentary to an Englishman. <laughs> My wife and I are humbled to see so many of our family and friends here today. Thank you so much to those who travel from near and far, from Stevenage to East Kilbride, um, to Fishguard, um, and as far as New York. Seriously though, events like today don't just happen. We've been planning for this wedding for some time. Well, I say we, Rachel has actually done most of the work. <laughs> well, I say most, actually it's all of the work. Um, as one of the best things about being the groom is weddings just seem to organize themselves. So to my wife, your, your creativity, attention to detail and preparation have been outstanding and you should take most credit for what has been an incredible day, at least so far it has been.
so many ways and for so many reasons. You understand me like no one else. You always make me smile and laugh and always bring the best out of me. You managed to somehow put up my stupid and childish sense of humour and someone I can always talk to. We also complement each other very well. You give me orders, I take them. You keep me grounded and honest. If it wasn't for you, I would go, like, go through life thinking I had no flaws at all. You're simply my best friend. I can't even begin to explain how absolutely beautiful you look today. When I saw you walking down the aisle, I realised just how lucky I am. I looked to myself and knew it's definitely me getting a better deal. So I'm looking forward to the adventures we have to come. So ladies and gentlemen, please raise your glasses to my wife, Mrs. Rachel Brackenbury. taking and forging and forsaking, kissing and loving and pushing and shoving, caring and sharing and screaming and swearing, about being together whatever the weather, <laughs> about being driven to the end of your tether, about sweetness and kindness and wisdom and blindness. It's about being strong when you're feeling quite weak. It's about saying nothing when you're dying to speak. It's about being wrong when you know you are right. It's about giving in before there's a fight. It's about you two living as cheaply as one. You can give us a call when you know how that's done. Never heeding advice that was always well meant. Never counting the cost until it's all spent. And for you two today, it's about to begin. And for all that the two of you had to put in, some days filled with joy and some days with sadness, too late you'll discover that marriage is madness. <laughs>